Hi there, it's Peter for DrVoip.com with another tech tip. Um, little video clip to match up with the text on the blog. So if you've watched us before, you know that on a shoreware a director server, a shoreware server where the uh, um, MySQL database resides, you want to previously have installed uh, MySQL YOG. It's an excellent tool for manipulating the MySQL database. If you don't know what a MySQL database is, this is going to be like stupid hard for you. But even if you pay attention and do things carefully, you too can make this simple little change to the database table structure to get rid of the need to dial 9 from fax machines and credit card machines and other alarm devices in which dialing 9 would be a real problem. So you're going to go ahead and connect to your local host. I have this installed directly on the shoreware director. Uh, I'm, I'm logging in as root, password. Uh, sometimes using local host is a big problem and, and it's better to type in the IP address of the machine than use local host. But uh, um, we're going to connect on port 3306. Um, we connected successfully. Let's go ahead and connect. Voila. If we go up here in this corner here, we can see the typical um, database structure of a standard MySQL database. These are standard folders. Uh, the one that you're interested in is either the Shoreware CDR for your call detail records or the Shoreware database itself. And if you go ahead and open that puppy up, you'll notice that you have tables and um, you can uh, just click on uh, the explode table and you can see the various columns um, that are inside the table structure. There's a whole variety of tables. The one table that we're interested in at this time, we're going to scroll down here, we're going to go to users. And if we right click on users, we're going to say view data. And this is going to show you the content of the user's table. So there's a concept of a table. And then within the table, you've got your columns and uh, so forth. Uh, columns and rows, just like a, a, an Excel spreadsheet. So the column that we're most interested in, in this case is a column called external dial tone. And so what we want to do is actually go over here into the user table. And uh, we want to scroll down until we find our uh, uh, user called fax machine. And, and there it is, fax machine. And then what we want to do is just scroll over until we find the column that says uh, external uh, dial tone. And you want to change him to a minus one. As you notice, everybody else is a zero. Zero means they need to dial nine to get an outside line. Minus one means uh, any digits they dial, just grab an outside line and go. So this is a very, very powerful solution for enabling the removal of the dial nine requirement on fax machines. Um, many people that install a fax machine on a short-tail device will find that uh, you know, they've got uh, predefined speed dial numbers, for example. Credit card machines have a speed dial number. And to reprogram them with dial 9 is probably uh, too big a problem. So let's just fix it so they don't have to. Obviously, the downside of this is that uh, that device can't be used to call extension to extension because all digits are going to go out and outside external line. Uh, but who uses a fax machine to call their neighbor anyway? Thanks a lot. I hope you found this uh, interesting little piece of technical information from drvoip.com.